everyone, it's AJ again. We have now moved. It's a powerful night. We're here at the Laurel Thirst and we are with Aaron and Nick, brother combo of Everyday Profits. We're so excited for you guys to see the show tonight and later on. So um, talk to me just a little bit about the history. I know we were chatting a little bit before we turned the video on about how you guys got started, your influence, and your history together. So. Uh, well, we uh, obviously grew up together, uh, Indiana, uh, musical family, and then uh, started making music together shortly after college, and it just kind of grew from there. We were living in separate states. I was living in Montana, had a reggae band there. Nick was here living in Portland, and we got together, started doing a project, and called it Everyday Profits. This was back in 2001. And... Um, it was a lot more built beats, you know, a lot more, um, I guess, a little more electronic vibe um, and over my songwriting. And then and then we kind of built that into a live act after I moved to Portland in 2002 or three, 2003. Yeah, uh, about so, a decade ago, yeah. yeah. I love the name. Where did the name come from? Well, interesting. Um, it's actually uh, a friend of ours, Lefty Tyson, who was our original guitarist. Um, kind of told us was telling us the story about a time he was in Vienna on the street corner and uh, kind of philosophizing with a with a friend and they were just talking about everyday profits and and we just heard him tell that story and, and it just connected with us we were like that's that's it that's the, the name so we, we stuck and at that time we didn't know it was gonna be the name of the band it was kind of a, the project you know recording project and then it turned into a live act nice. yeah. Had some changes in, in bandmates, and, and now I definitely have, I think we're the strongest uh, the band combination is as far as. Okay, yeah. okay, so I have to ask: Is brother any like family feuds ever go on? Every wow. practice. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not too. Well, I think that's, I think that's kind of like one of the benefits is that we can spat and push back and forth, but ultimately because you're brothers, you know that, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna work out. There's no fundamental differences there, even if, you know, the chord pattern is totally wrong. For Nick, example. Does, Nick, does, <laughs> Nick doesn't care about well, chords. Chords anyway. are wrong anyway, just in general. So he's a he's a drummer. We have pretty different roles. So I actually usually when I'm writing songs, I will often leave sometimes I'll have ideas for bass lines, but um, usually I, I like, sometimes I'll have a tempo that I'm playing it at, but other than that I try to actually not write any of the rhythm because I know I want Nick to you know feel not feel like I'm trying to push anything on him and, and it ends up actually influencing the song more so nice, nice. Up, right? so what do you guys got going on now what do you want your fans to hear uh, well we got a brand new album uh, was it our six six studio album I think <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it depends on what you uh, count a studio. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's a, it's a solid combination of songs. It's really like, I would say, kind of reaching back into definitely some some of the roots reggae vibes that I love so much. And um, Nick's gone back to playing some more acoustic kit, you know, acoustic drums rather than the full electronic kit that a lot of people are used to hearing. Um, so it definitely brings it back a little more. Um, I don't know. A little more grounded sounding in a way, but it's uh, it's good. It's still it's. I think it's the cleanest, uh, tightest mixed album that we have yet. And are you so. guys going on the road? Or are you taking it? Uh, we do. Out yeah, we do uh, like mini tours. So we'll do like a long weekend to Montana, Idaho. Uh, we're doing uh, every summer. We throw a festival in Indiana. I saw that the Profit Fest. Fest. Yeah, Fest. it's on our yeah. family farm. This is the oh, fifth fantastic. year, so it's, it's growing it. and definitely. So it's, a good it's currently time. a one-day event. This is our fifth year doing it. Um, so, are you the headliner, and you invite other local bands? Or? Uh, yeah, actually, last year we had we brought in another band to headline, which was kind of cool. I mean, I guess it's how you. <laughs> yeah. however, you just, like, however you see a headliner, you know, like a live electronic, you know, dance act, oh, so we nice. threw yeah. them all later because yeah. we they were appropriate yeah. for the late night yeah. vibe, right. for sure. Um, but yeah, we get six or seven bands and a bunch of DJs, and it goes from 
three in the afternoon till five in the morning. Nice. It's super fun. Nice. That's fantastic. Well, yeah. Excellent. Anything else you want to send out there to your fans tonight? We'll get um, them out here. Well, um, come out and see us. <laughs> hang out. We're still, we're st still got a lot of new tunes in the, you know, they just keep coming through the tunnel and, and we're working on them all the time. So. We love it. We love it. We're so excited for this show. And everyone, Laurel Thurs tonight. Be here right now. You guys go on at, what, 9 o'clock? 9.30. 9.30, 10 o'clock. Come out, everyone. Thanks so much. Thank you guys. Cool. Yeah,